If you are an Englishman and a sailor, then there are several sail-powered voyages you should at least try to undertake before you walk that great gangplank in the sky. And I'm about to take you on one of them. It starts on Barton Broad, and taking a series of left-hand turns, you go down the Ant, into the Bure, up the Thurn, through Britain's craziest village of Potterhyam, passing under, or maybe that's shooting, the 13th century bridge. Then you blast alongside the Weaver's Way, left again into Candle Dyke, and across the twisting, shining labyrinths towards Horsey and Hickley. Very nice, well done. As a cameraman, I love what the light, the scenery and the magically sensuous motion of the boat can create in the lens. The way the countryside reveals itself and unfolds as you slip silently and effortlessly through it. Then you and the boat become part of the view, rather than something imposed upon it. At times, when the beast is slumbering and the private pilots have at last landed, the sound of the wind in the trees, the lap of the water and the burring warblers is all you can hear. All you ever want to hear. What a place. That is beautiful. After turning up the thern, the dikeside architecture starts to take on a style all of its own. These are the outskirts of Potter Hyam, a place where Englishmen and women can show you what they can do with wood and imagination. The only way of getting to these wonderful houses is by boat, bike or foot. Cars are no use to you at all. No idea what the planning rules are, but I like the way they work.
What I am is English creativity, eccentricity and civility expressed in the form of its ever-wet high street. In its own way, Potterheim reveals as much about the English as Venice does about the Italians. But there are a lot of hire boats in Potterheim. It's a high street, so it's a busy place. But it is blessed by a very low 13th century bridge, which only small boats can get through. Passing under a bridge made in the 13th century, so you Americans stick that in your metaphorical historical pipes and smoke it. And as you pop out the other side, you come into another universe, another age. Pretty good place to sail on a windy day like today. Now let's see, it would be unbearable. But here, pretty good. It's got the Genoa up. I gave up on the main, flogging around too much. So, coming down to Martham Boatyard. Look at those skies. Look at that sky. Brilliant. You're very pretty. Looks very nice. Thank you. 1935. Is that what it is? Even older than me. Later that evening, I took the slug up the winding dike to Horsey Mere.
The dusk and late sky was a treat. Great. But in the morning, a hanging mist added yet another layer to the canvas. Wonderful. <laughs>